Go bless you.
Hey guys, bless Sunday to you. Um, I decided to do a little chat from home because uh, <laughs> I had quite an adventurous day. Um, firstly, wanted to say how much I, I missed the interaction last week. Having a fever was unusual for me. You know, I'm, I'm a boy, so <laughs> we're not meant to get sick because we're big wine gums up. I was always, as a kid, I always loved being looked after by my mum, and I guess it just rubs off, you know, when you get sick. But it was, uh, it was hardcore, you know, 103 degrees, and um, and I was filming as well. I just finished the TV show the uh, night before last, um, 10 episodes, lots of work. It's a great, a great project called Second Chances that'll be coming out later this year. I'm not sure, Netflix or Amazon, whatever, something. <laughs> I like the part, and it's uh, completed now. I work with um, some great actors. I'll post something specific about that. But, <clears throat> excuse me, working and and recovering from um, an illness was quite a challenge, but also it enabled me to see that I could. <laughs> so there's always another furtherment of oneself, isn't there? You know, and don't get me wrong, it was very tough, and I'm not complaining. But it was um, a couple of moments where it's you know you yourself and yourself, and I was and obviously with dear God above, of course. But I was I was not sure how to get through some of my days, and I and I. I realize that we can we can all probably go a little further than we think we can not not that I hope that upon anybody but <clears throat> for those out there that are wondering how uh, I had a couple of those days myself and I and I think it's it's doable by knowing that we are more than we might have been led to believe you know and that I don't mean more in the sense of ego or um, boastfulness of course I mean more in the sense of what we stand for and, and what we're capable of and um, our dreams as young kids were great compasses to our fearlessness and the truth of our dreams. Um, so it felt great today to be, you know, last month, I guess I've been back on the green um, filming and that was, it was a challenging part, more, more dramatic. And after two and a half years, it was um, mildly intimidating the first couple of days, but I enjoyed it. Um, today <clears throat> felt a little kind of better than before because I'd had a night's sleep. Um, but not a hundred percent, but I went out today with my drone <laughs> and out of nowhere my drone just stopped flying, it went boom um, and smashed, so I was like okay deep breath, this is cool you know, you, you, you have to, it's the wolf you feed isn't it? so I was thinking okay, that happened now try and get it fixed, if not we'll work it out and then so I, uh, <laughs> I decided to then use the selfie stick which is what I'm using now um, and riding, having a good time, and then I haven't come off the board in a while. Let me see if I can show you this. Don't worry, I won't fall. I don't know if you can see this, but I, I ripped my jeans open. I don't know if that even registered, but uh, I, I, I took a nice pair of jeans and, and made them a little bit more retro by coming off the board pretty hardcore. But, um, and then my phone smashed, which, which again, I thought, how does this work into the post? <laughs> so I thought to myself, you know what it is, it's adversary, adversities or even little pokes that might send you off. And I, because I saw it as that straight away, and it didn't mean I didn't think, oh, you know, my, I love my drone, it's a toy and it, you know, you buy these things when, you know, you treat yourself if you can. But it, none of it really just, none of it worked. Because I was out there for you. I knew I wasn't gonna not do this post this week because I missed you last week. I knew that was gonna happen some way and then the post just changed shape. I got a minute and a half of footage. I did some this way, some that way. Just made it work. The reason for all of this conversation is because the song I did this week kind of correlated with that to some degree. I decided to do a song that didn't have a chorus, which is fantastic because an A&R man in a record label would start foaming at the mouth at that idea. But the great thing of not caring about that concept is that you could just make music for the reasons for making it. And I decided that this song was more of a groove, it was more of a feel. It represents all of us that have walked through, maybe stumble here or stumble there, but primarily tethered to our compass of self, you know, the kind of us, the compassion of us. Um, you know, you, you've always walked this world the way you always have. Um, you may have stumbled once or twice, but your hands and heart are full of love. That's one of the verses. <clears throat> and and there's a it's really just a celebration to those people that have walked 
graciously, lovingly, selflessly. My friends that came with me today, I got told off really, like I got a wag finger because I hurt myself. But you know, really that's just a version of love, isn't it? It's a version of care. Um, but I have to say, I, this song is about the encouragement of of those people that just have stuck with it. You know, it, we all go through this, it's on and off road, isn't it? But um, <clears throat> it celebrates that and also, uh, you know, the, the hook, if you like, the repeated hook is if we're going to fight, then let's fight for the things that make our world feel all right. And I just feel that the good are the architects of our future and they will fight for us. They will fight for you and I. I will fight for them and, you're, and you, of course, um, but for the good and for the betterment of our planet. I was watching something the other day, it was a documentary, and it was primarily saying a version in a much more academic way. The message I'm saying in some degrees is that the architecture of our future must come back to its origin. Like I implore those young architects out there to put down the pencils for a second, paint, color, imagination beyond your wildest dreams and apply that architecture, design and imagination to the infrastructures that we have today because that's one domino will be the rest. It, it, it will be the very first, it's the avalanche of change. And so, um, this song is about believing that the meek, the weak, the kind, the strong in that sense that they've endured, the ever compassionate are the future. And the, that those wonderful, kind, compassionate young souls are literally the architects of our future. And um, this space is an ever, ever reminder to me that it's worth trying, you know, and despite the ripped jeans and the, and the holes in my knees, <laughs> the red holes in my knees, um, the smash drone and the smash phone, uh, I guess here we are as a community loving and supporting each other. So uh, a few metaphoric bullets dodged today regarding the change and shift in my energy. I was just thankful to be in nature. I was thankful that I didn't get properly hurt. <laughs> and I was thankful that I knew in my heart that you were there and that this message would reach you. Um, it's the Easter week. It's the beautiful spiritual time. I personally give my love to Jesus and say thanks to the sacrifice and also to Abba and the wonderful Buddha that helps me calm my heart and uh, many other wonderful energies out there ethereally. The Holy Mother. Um, I also thank the wonderful energy of you and anyone who knows me personally. Um, just a big wave of gratitude today. Bless Sunday. Have a gorgeous, gorgeous day and uh, carry, the, carry it forward with you to the week ahead if you can. You know the deal. Only love, guys. God bless you.